Hey, NTA Nation. This is Ben. I'm back again this week for another cigar review. And this week I'm doing the new EP Curio Short Run 2012. It's actually um, the new way of Connecticut in the short run. Now, every year EP Curio does a short run uh, with this cigar. It's, just, you know, tobaccos that. Um, Either is you didn't have a, a huge supply of to make it to a, a you know a full line, or it's kind of an experiment where he's mixing different parts of different lines to make one kind of short run cigar, kind of a special edition. But anyway, that's kind of the way this one is. This cigar actually has the wrapper of one of the cigars that was actually in one of my top cigars of the year, the New York Connecticut. The same, it's the same Connecticut wrapper as that, except the binder and the filler is from the Coraline Maduro that was released this year at IPCPR. Now this cigar comes in three different sizes. comes in a Robusto, a Toro, and this large, yes, I said you call that a double Toro. It's a uh, six and a quarter by 60 ring gauge. It's called the... Uh, the Reynados is actually the name of it. They don't really call it a double tour or whatever, but they call it the, the Reynado. Uh, the Reynados. But uh, anyway, I know you're thinking, what the hell is he doing a six and a quarter by 664 knowing that he hates that size? Well, they sent me one Robusto, one Toro in this size right here. And the reason that I chose this size to do actually is because a, a lot of my fellow bloggers have it said basically that the uh, larger sizes seem to really pop in the EP Creo line. So, you know, I figured, okay, let's just do the larger size review in this one. So, I already spoke the other two. So, I'm kind of curious to see how this one compares to the other two. So, anyway, let's take a look at this cigar. It has a, uh, a pretty nice looking wrapper. It's not, it's not oily or nothing. But, I mean, it's in Connecticut. They're not really known to be oily anyway. But it's a very well applied cap, you can see there. You know, some minor spots on it, but I mean, nothing, nothing real big or nothing. You can see that. Kind of a, actually, kind of like a, a modeled wrapper. But anyway, let's look at the filler there. This is a little bit, looks like it's a little into the cigar, like it, almost like a little hole, but it's basically, I was looking at that earlier, and it's basically just where the tip of the, the, the filler leaf, where actually the tobacco leaf makes a tip, is where the end of that's at. So, anyway, it's no big deal. I'm not really worried about it at all whatsoever. But anyway, there you go. If I remember right, this size I think runs around uh, 10 bucks a stick, but. I will double check that when I come back to the next segment because I, I could remember that part. But uh, anyway, let's light this thing up. It's like I made a nice, perfect cut. Wow, I'm really liking the, the the actual the draw on it. Let's talk about the draw first. The draw on it is that perfect milkshake draw that I absolutely love. It's it's a perfect draw for me. But the flavor that I'm getting out of it, it's it's a really nice, like a honey wheat flavor that I'm getting out of it. Yeah, I mean it's got like a strong honey flavor to it, like a like you know just honey wheat taste to it, almost like uh, almost like Honey Nut Cheerios or something like that. That's what I was trying to think of. Cereal popped in my head. I was thinking cereal. What the hell are you thinking about? Then Honey Nut Cheerios, kind of what it reminds me of. But it's like that honey oat kind of you know, or the honey wheat flavor you know kind of. I don't know how to explain. It. Other than that, that's the best thing, way I can explain it. Nevertheless, very freaking good. I don't remember. I don't remember getting that flavor out of the other two. Actually, 
they, I mean, I got kind of a sweet flavor, but nothing that was this pronounced. So, maybe there is something to the larger ring gauges than the EP Carrillo's. I don't know. Anyway, using my new vector from Mike at Buckhead. Got this of the Atlanta tweet up. So far, so good. Been a pretty good lighter. Of course, like all metal lighters, it has to be warm for it to work properly. You know, usually what I'm doing is, uh, if I get out here, I leave it out usually outside of a little man cave here in my garage. And if it's cold outside, what I'll do is I'll throw it in my pocket and leave it in there for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then it'll it'll light right up. Pretty much like that with all my metal lighters. Good light. So far, it's actually really mild uh, right off the bat. It has like a, a sweet woody flavor, but that's that's about it so far. Nothing really big, and I'd say it's it's got a mild body right off the bat too. Where the smaller ring gauges for me were more, were definitely more medium body, and had a little bit more of a spice note to them to also right off the bat. Where this one has it has a spice note, but it's very very muted. Kind of waiting to see if it will develop even more as I go into the cigar. But right off the bat, it's just like a um, a real mellow sweet woody flavor. Yeah, that's so far that's what I'm getting. Anyway, I'm gonna smoke the first third of the EP Korea New Wave Connecticut 2000 or short run 2012, and uh, I'll be back to let you know how it is. See you in a second. Everybody, I'm back. Done with the first third now. As you see, it puts off an absolute ton of smoke, a lot of smoke. But anyway, uh, to the important part, the flavors. The flavor is still that sweet woodiness to it, even though that I said in the beginning was kind of a, a muted kind of a woody sweetness or whatever. Now it's more not kind of in the the low medium body where it has it has the stronger woody note and the sweetness, but also developed a really nice creaminess to the cigar that wasn't there at the very beginning. Also, you get a slight like uh, the little spice bite in the back of the palate. It's very, it's it's not real bad. It's real kind of faint. When you render held the cigar, you get like a double load of spice. So that's really when you get that spice kick. Other than that, that's pretty much all the flavors I'm getting out of it right now. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the uh, second third. I'll let you know how it is. See you in a second. Everybody, I'm back. You see. I'm done with the second third now. The flavors have remained pretty much the same, except that like that honey note that I was getting during the the pre-light draw. I'm starting to pick that up. Uh, it's it's a little bit faint, but I'm picking it up now by the middle of the cigar. I'm also getting a nice cocoa note. It's kind of like a like a uh, like Baker's cocoa, like a bitter, you know, unsweetened cocoa that I'm getting in the middle of the cigar. But nevertheless, flavors are meshing really well with this cigar. Uh, I'm enjoying it so far, and the, like I said, the burn is really, really good. And the smoke volume on this cigar is amazing. It's like a smokestack on one of those old locomotives back in the 1800s. I mean, it's just absolute ton of smoke. And you can see I've got, I got really close to that second band. I went ahead and pulled it off. And I don't think I gave give you a good look at what it looks like. But, uh... I don't know, see if you can read that. There you go. Short run 2012 was on the second second band. But then the top band, it's just the, the standard, you know, the New Wave Connecticut band. Which I really like their bands. You know, it's they're nice and elegant, but they're not overstated. It's a, it's a really nice band. So I, I really like the bands that EP Carrillo is doing with all the cigars. But anyway, it's going really good. I'm going to go ahead and I'll finish this cigar off. I'll give you my final thoughts in a second. See you soon. Everybody, 
I'm back. About at the end of the cigar now. The last third, the sweetness and the creaminess is really tapered off. Now I'm getting um, that the, the woodiness, the core woodiness has been all the way through the cigar. It's, the spice note has kicked up a little bit, but not too much. But that honey and cocoa note, I guess because the sweetness and the creaminess has died off, that honey and cocoa seems to be coming through a little bit more. It's not real strong, but it's there. You can definitely taste it. But mainly it's just woody and spicy now, the final third. But I've really enjoyed this cigar, actually. And I've really enjoyed the EP Korea wine from all of them, except when I, the first one I tried, the inaugural edition 2009. I really did not like that cigar. It was way too mild. I didn't really think there was much to it. So it, in the original, in the beginning, I was kind of turned off by the EP Creo cigars, but I've tried the rest of them since then, and I've just been blown away by how good and the high quality of these cigars are, and the flavor of them is just really amazing. And like I said, the New Wave Connecticut made my, one of my, in my list of the top cigars of the year this year, and you're basically getting that plus that richness of the Coral Maduro all in the same cigar with the Short Run 2012. This is a very good cigar. This cigar, the, the larger ring gauge one, the, the six and a quarter by 60 here, it's, it's about nine bucks. And the Robusto, it's about seven. And the Toro was around, I think, about eight bucks. So very inexpensive for one, a cigar that's this good of quality, but is a limited production. So seek these out because I know when the short runs come, they usually sell out pretty quickly. The past short runs have really done that. And I've really enjoyed the, short, the previous short runs too. This might be the best out of the batch of the short runs, I think. But I don't know, maybe because I've just the, the New Wave Connecticut was so good. I've really enjoyed the Coraline Maduro, which I haven't reviewed yet. That should be coming up soon. But it's kind of the best of both worlds of the short run. I really, really dig this cigar. I, I think this is definitely a box worthy if you can get your hands on a box of them. So, and plus, like I said, the price point's not bad for a, a stick of this quality with a limited production it's that's really fair especially if, you know probably out of the out of all of them though I, I think I prefer probably the Robusto the best it's just a little bit more concentrated in, the, in flavors but they're I, so I've liked them all but I just the Robusto just has a little bit more concentration of, the, of these same flavors so I, I'd probably go with that one but if you like large ring gauges this one should be spot on for you it's it's probably medium body now. The further in the cigar it got, it seemed to get a little bit more um, strength to the body of it. It's but it's still approachable by all cigar smokers. I think. I don't think if you're a mild smoker or a full body smoker, you'd be turned off by this at all. It's got a little bit of everything. So definitely seek this one out and give it a shot. I would you know let me know what you think in the comments because I was really impressed with the cigar. And like I said. The EP Creo lines leading up to this, it's really, I, I kind of expected what I got out of the scar anyway. Um, it didn't knock out my favorite, which is the Dark Rituals. That to me is the pinnacle of the EP Creo line. And I really hated that was like that was like a limitada, it was a limited edition. And they're pretty much gone now. I really wish they would bring that cigar back and make it part of the core line too. And just whatever they do just bring it back please but anyway this is a very very good cigar check it out let me know what you think and remember nothing beats a nice tight ash